Hello, this is Adrian, and uh, today I'm going to be reviewing for you the InCase Pro Snap case for the iPhone 5. This is uh, marketed as a really a minimal case for the iPhone 5 that provides you with uh, durable hard shell construction with a rubberized bumper that enhances edge and corner protection as well as providing enhanced grip. It says there. Uh, like I said, this is a minimal case. Uh, something just to give you protection above what is standard of just with the iPhone itself without a case um, meant to really not not take or add much away from basic uh, iPhone looks but uh, give you some extra protection now let's go ahead and take it out of the box All right. so you can see we have the hard shell plastic here on the back, uh, decent size cutout for the camera, and here we have the rubberized edges and sides that uh, they are rubberized, but they really are not very flexible, so they are going to be able to withstand some damage, and they're not very soft, but they get the job done. Okay. So let's go ahead and put the phone in. Here's my iPhone. Uh, very simple. As with most cases, you just uh, line up the volume buttons here, put it in, and then snaps in as the name implies. Um, looks good. As I said, it's a minimal case. Uh, really doesn't weigh much at all. Feels almost like it doesn't have a case on there. Which is nice. Uh, looks great, especially if you're just looking to show off the iPhone. Uh, looks very nice. Okay, let's get into the features of the case. Let's start off on the bottom here. Uh, as you can see, it's completely open on the bottom, so you're not really getting too much protection. The area right here, along on the actual part where you import input the plugs, your 3.5 millimeter jack, as well as the uh, power connection here. Uh, it's completely flush on the on the case with the phone But it does provide here the rounded edges that if the phone were to land completely flat on the floor like that It's not going to be hitting the phone if it were to catch an edge there That your phone's going to be taking some damage. So something to keep in mind It does prov offer some protection just not very much It is nice to have all the ports available uh, wide open, don't have to worry about uh, third-party uh, connectors not fitting because there's nothing there to block them. All right, uh, on the side, we have a uh, little, nothing much over here. I have the in-case branding right here. Um, while I have you on this view, I, I don't know if you could tell, um, it has a slight beveled edge up here on top of the phone with the screen. It raises, uh, raises above the screen just slightly, really not much compared to what you see on a lot of other cases, but it is there. Um, so it's nice to have if it were to, if you were to lay it on the table, uh, it is going to stop the screen from touching directly to the table. It's going to keep it slightly raised. Honestly, um, if you were to drop it, uh, probably give you some, some protection. Not much, but it's better than nothing. Now, uh, on the top, we have here, it's open just like the bottom, uh, also has the rounded edge edges just like the bottom. What difference between the top and the bottom here is that it has this, also has this bevel that protects the power button. So it's raised slightly above the power button and allows you to uh, take a hit on the top of the phone if it were to drop and it's not going to completely destroy it top of your phone. Uh, one downside for me is um, on this edge here is really that um, it's nice to have that protection but it kind of prevents you from easily accessing the power button. Not that it's too difficult, it's just uh, normally, I don't know about you, when I reach for my power button I just reach around top and I press. See right now I'm pressing and obviously it's stopping me. So you have to kind of reach over and press the button and then you have access to it. Uh, not too inconvenient, but it is uh, something, especially when a lot of cases you don't even have to put any effort. It's just press the button and you have it on. Just, I don't know, something to think about. Uh, all right, now 
this side of the uh, volume buttons. The mute on off switch is kind of in there. Uh, if you dig in there, it's not too difficult, but it is something that you're going to have to dig. You're not going to be holding the phone and kind of just, you know, just using the side of your thumb. No, that's not going to happen. You definitely have to put a little bit of effort in there, stick your fingers. If you have nails, it's very easy. But if you don't, maybe a little bit more difficult for you. Now, the volume rockers here, uh, they are functional. As you can see, they, they do work. Just, it's, it's not easy. It's uh, definitely, sometimes you don't even know if you're pressing it, unless if you're not looking at the screen. It doesn't provide much of a tactile feedback, and that just very difficult to press. Not a, not a fun experience. Not that uh, pressing the your buttons on your phone or is ever really fun, but uh, just not a high point for the case. Definitely um, functional, not ideal. Uh, back of the case here, as I mentioned earlier, has a large cutout for the camera that uh, does provide uh, plenty of room so that the flash is not at all visible in the pictures that you're taking. Um, works great. It's just, uh, if you're not a fan of seeing the two-tone, seeing the, the glass and metal finish of the iPhone, which, uh, you know, this is the case really meant to be showing off the phone. So if you're not a fan of that, then you may be turned off, but it's not too big. It does uh, still provide the camera and the phone itself with plenty of protection. So something to keep in mind that it is a larger uh, opening aperture than uh, some of the cases. And as I mentioned with the, the volume rockers uh, about this on this case, it's really, it's functional, not ideal. Uh, that really can be said for the whole case itself. Uh, functional provides basic protection, but it's really not completely ideal. Here, let me take the case out of the phone. It's not too difficult, but can... Uh, it's sometimes a little trying. So that is the in-case Pro Snap case for the iPhone 5. Um, if you're looking for just something to snap on your phone, make it look uh, nice, you know, just uh, show off your iPhone 5, you know, hey, I've got an iPhone 5, check it out. It's definitely a nice case, offers very basic protection, not going to be getting too much. Uh, safety wise out of it but it is better than nothing and uh, hopefully that helped helped you out the in case this case uh, retails for $15.99 on Amazon uh, they do sell it at the Apple Store you're gonna be charged a lot more at the Apple Store so I would recommend buying it online hopefully that was helpful for you have a great day